Hello and welcome to Nick's Trains. I got hold of this packing material um, and this is going to be my locomotive cradle. So now we can see the gap. Now I'll just cut through the many different layers. I'll just I'll go I'll start going deeper through these many different layers and stop somewhere when two layers are left. To use MK3 carriages with these, or maybe I'll leave just one open end that even these scooters can come like so. Let's get on with cutting then. I hope it's in short. This cut, this cut quite easily. Let me see how it works out. to get uh, it's it is cutting quite easily but to get the rectangular shape out it's going to be difficult so I'm going to cut here now it's easier to insert the blade to the depth of which and just go on cutting like so after having about half section of this now it has become fairly easy and since I've cut the most of the sides now the gum of these layers is just coming off and I can just do it with hands and This is going to be my inspection pit come rolling stock slash locomotive cradle of the sufficient length uh, if I so locomotives are not a problem this is class 92 it goes in fine class 40 is a bit tight uh, and let the locomotives park there and it will be another, you know, um, diorama or something like that. That would be nice. I would paint this grey. After having about half section of this, now it has become fairly easy. And since I have cut the most of the sides, now the gum of these layers is just coming off. And I can just do it with hands and later file the imperfections. Actually, this has given me an idea of building a locomotive pit, inspection pit. So what I'm going to do is take this bit off here and stick it here so that I have a... And then later I can include a ramp or steps for the workmen to get inside.
Okay, so probably this is going to be my inspection pit come rolling stock slash locomotive cradle of the sufficient length. Uh, if I so locomotives are not a problem. This is class 92, it goes in fine. Class 40 is a bit tight, uh, it's got its coupling like this, but again, this thing can be opened here, so that's not a problem again. And even the Mark III carriages can be kept and worked upon. I'll just put a non electric track, I'll just and let the locomotives park there, and it will be another, you know, um, diorama or something like that. That would be nice. I would paint this gray cement in concrete in color, gray cement or concrete in color. Also, I'll be putting some steps or ramps at both both these ends. And in that case, I will have to cover this this end so that I can lay the track on top of this gap wherein the loco would stand over the pit and the locomotive maintenance team can walk down the pit and examine the wheels and axles and the undercarriages. It is quite important to label things in this house and especially this one. Do not throw. Loco rolling stock cradle. Every possible wear. Very important. Otherwise, it would get discarded. And and I thought that it's a good idea to retain this uh, removed open portion so that it can be used either somewhere else or it can be kept after use just like this. Thank you for watching Nick's trains. Please share with people who might like, appreciate and enjoy trains. Comment and subscribe.